Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the newest episode of Heavy Metal Music Theory. Thank you for joining me yet again. Today we're taking a look at Megadeth, Tornado of Souls. All right, here we go. Alright guys, so what you have there is the very introduction to Tornado of Souls. It is a power chord on B. Alright, which kind of a cements our loose ranking in the key of B for this song. The succession of notes that follows that power chord... are a series of harmonics. All right, now a harmonic is when you take your finger, place it over the fret, and then play the string. And you get a bell-like quality, all right? I'm not gonna go into what these harmonics are in terms of notes. Just know that those are harmonics, which can be formed by picking normally, but not pushing down and having your finger directly over the fret bar. So directly over the fret bar, not pushing down, just touching the string, you get your harmonic. So that is a really cool, first of all, starting in B instead of E is really cool, but also having that harmonic section. Really neat thing, Dave Mustaine's great. Let's check out the next section, all right? All right, guys, riff two, which comes in after the intro, goes something like this. And again, we're still based on the seventh fret of the E string, which is the B. All right, guys, so there you have the second section, riff two. Starting on the B in the original position, we have B, C sharp, D, E, F, F sharp, A, and B. <coughs> so we're essentially outlining outlining a combination of the minor scale and the blues scale all right the minor scale and the blues scale a lot of common tones between the two of them but what makes the the riff itself different it contains that flat five that diminished fifth, AKA the tritone, and then the rest of the notes of the minor. So it starts off minor. We don't have that six though. So we're exchanging the six for the flat five. So like I said, it's like a hybrid between the minor scale and the blue scale. All right, really cool section. Now coming out of this section, we have this little tail that segues between what we just played and what comes next. And that segue is a D to a C. And then we're gonna do this hammer pull descending lick. This is a very difficult song, as you can tell. Anything Dave Mustaine writes is amazing. Super technical, I'm not able to play this up to speed. I'm kind of learning this as I go. I've always wanted to play this song. No better time to play it than now. So that is the end of the second section. 
Let's see what comes next. Alright guys, the verse has two sections. The first one is rooted in B. F sharp, G, E. F sharp, G, E. So we're essentially sticking with the key of B minor here. We have the B as the 1. We got the F sharp as the 5. The G is the 6. And the E is the 4. All right. The pattern goes... All right, and then the second section, we're going to drop down to A, which, for lack of a better description, we're just going to look at this in a traditional heavy metal sense, like something Metallica would do, where they play a riff from E, and then they move it up to E sharp, or, or I'm sorry, move it up to F sharp. In this case, Megadeth is playing a groove from B, and then they're just dropping it down to A to change up the flavor, right? Basically the same thing. All right, guys, on to the chorus. Again, we're still rooted on that B. perfected that section up to speed yet but basically as I said we're rooted in B and we have the F sharp and the G we have a little chromatic walk up and walk down which includes the F which is really cool that would be your tritone for the key of B and then Dave does this really cool thing and this is I like to consider these power chords, even though traditionally they're not called power chords. But in the same way you can have a root and a five be a power chord, I say, why not have the root and major third be a power chord too? I know they're intervals, but he does a an F sharp major to a G major. And in my opinion, Dave is the godfather of making major third intervals sound heavy. And of course, very metal. All right, so that pretty much takes care of that section. There's several run-throughs of the chorus. Let's see what comes next.